Hello guys, Crimtastic here, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Today we're going to be looking at four mods, and the first one, the first part of the first one, you're looking at right now, this is Cigarette in Mouth by M. Now M has a lot of great mods, but for people who are looking for a lore-friendly experience where you are able to smoke as part of your role-playing character, this is the mod for you. As far as I know, there isn't another mod of this complexity that allows you to smoke so many different things. So actually, let's take a look at what you can craft first. So, using the built-in cigarette rolling bench that comes with this mod that you can craft in any of your settlements, there are several different things. There's bent cigarette, cigarette, dry cigar, jet pipe, caseru, mini pipe, pipe, pipe pipe, premium cigar, San Francisco sunlights, and ignore that, that's from the Nuka gear mod. It invades everything. So I'm going to make one of each of these and we're going to take a look at all of them. Our first weapon mod for today is the M2045 Magnum Revolver Rifle. Now, if this isn't the most awesome thing that you've ever seen in your life, you need to reconsider your life. But in all honesty, this is a really beautiful gun. It looks really strong. I know there's a few mods we can put on it. We're going to see how powerful we can get it and we'll blow some people away. There are four receivers, one barrel, two stock options, three sight options, and three muzzle options. Our second weapon mod is the Glock P80 by Doom. Now you might be thinking, another Glock? Yeah, another Glock. I mean, why not? It looks really cool. Although from this angle where I'm looking at it, it sort of just looks rubber, but um, it looks cool. It's got a few mods and we'll take a look at it. There are nine receivers, two barrels, four mags, Two sight options. The option for a suppressor. Two ammo conversions. Two fire rates. And the option for a laser. And our third and final weapon mod for today is the Dragon Slayer version 1 by Raw Creations. Now this doesn't have any mods, but it is a hulking two-handed sword that swings really slowly and it's really powerful because it scales with your strength. And we are totally going to kill somebody with this so hard that they fall into another dimension. So here we are at the uh, South Boston Military Checkpoint. We've got spawns on high 
and we're gonna test out these guns. As you can see, I made the Glock automatic. Please stop speaking. There, so there's spawns everywhere. There's enemies everywhere. War going on. That's a big rad roach. As you can see, the automatic Glock is really good at delivering a lot of bullets really quickly. And fairly accurately as well. And the addition of the laser sight makes everything nice and easy. Is this guy legendary? Oh, he was. Cool. Yeah, let's take his thing. Put that on. Woohoo, okay. Lots of explosions going on. So the Glock is really good. How about the Dragon Slayer? And I mean, this thing, it takes up space, but look how big it is. Look how beautiful this sword is. Now find me some super mutants. Oh, there's one up there. Hello. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, no, you didn't. Alright, this guy's a little stronger. Now, I don't have the highest strength or melee damage that you could have, but imagine if I did. Like, wow. <laughs> the stopping power. Oh, a minigun. Oh, oh, a minigun. Okay, okay, we're going inside. Now let's test out our Magnum Revolver Rifle, which, by the way, look at that. Now this is the 50 caliber conversion, so this is technically the highest damage that it can output. As you can see, it's not overpowered. So I think it is balanced enough to use in a playthrough. If you're concerned about that sort of thing. Is that an explosive minigun? Alright, so I'm having a little trouble hitting that guy. There's somebody behind me. Oh, hi. swap back to the Glock. So the Glock is actually the uh, unexpected hero of today's mods. I feel like this would be really deadly on semi-auto also. So we'll just run around a tiny bit more. Maybe find a better target for the Magnum Revolver Rifle. Let's see what we can find over here. Ah! Well, it nearly killed that blowfly in one hit. Does about half damage to a blood bug. Is it the most amazing gun I've ever used? No. But is it balanced? Yes. Visually, though, it is an amazing gun. So I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Fallout 4 Mods. 
If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing for more videos like this. But until next time, thank you so much and have a nice day.